Hi guys, what's up everybody? This is Absolute King Man Ram here bringing you Gun Breaker 2 video. Wait, did I say Gun Breaker 2? I'm sorry, Gun to Buy Operation 2. I don't know why I said Breaker. But anyways, so I'm gonna be doing this simple video and I know you know, maybe you've seen the Filters video where he goes to the menus and shows what's what and the video stats and suit stats and stuff and explain what's what. Um, I was gonna do that but <laughs> he uploaded his video before I did it, but um but anyways, I'm still uploading the video because it's still more knowledge and some people may not see Philly Altura's video on it. So I'm going to go ahead and give my best, um, best go at this video. So first we're going to go through just the basic base camp where everything's located, what's what. And then we're going to go into the matchmaking system and how it works. And then we're going to talk about the suits. So this kind of video is set up in three sections basically. So anyways, let's go. So the first thing is, you, you're gonna when you log in, you're gonna log in from this girl, and she literally just says directions to where everything is located. She's like yada yada yada. And this, you, when you start out, you're gonna be here. She's gonna be telling you where things are. So next, we're gonna go over to here to the hanger shop. I have no clue what she does. I'm not even gonna lie, because when you talk to her, she just. You're probably wondering how I got myself in this situation. Well. During some post editing, I actually translated the scene, and it turns out she says enhancement facility, and it says that maybe this will be added later in the game. That's all. It says, and it says the Japanese text there, and so far, you've had to go. I've had to go to her for no reason at all. So maybe this is going to be a feature down the line that we get to do. I don't know. Next up is the campaign boards, and this is simply going to show you what campaign is up at the moment. And so we're gonna click it and right now we got the Gundam uh, we got the Gundam prototype up there and we also have the notification saying that this was updated and the loot box system is in. And this loot box system is basically every time you play a match there's a chance you'll get a random loot box of bronze, gold, or silver. And right now the campaign is your first loot box is gonna be a guaranteed silver. So if you're logging in right now as of this day, which is September twenty eighth you're gonna get a free loot box the first match you play and it's gonna be silver guaranteed. And this guy is your rewards guy. He's gonna, as some guys call him Nick Fury, because he's African American and his eyebrows. People will call him. And this, he's gonna give you all your rewards. If you have rewards claimed, they're gonna be on the left side. It's gonna show you 10 rewards. I have no rewards to claim, so that's gonna be that. And then on this side is your rewards claim history. I started a little bit on there. So as you see, these are all the rewards I've claimed for this quite a history, and I believe it goes back quite a while. So yeah, I know right here is just a bar. So if you want to watch the promotional video for the campaigns, uh, you can come over and watch it instead of standing in front of that big screen. And this is the guy right here. This guy, you're gonna want, whenever you hit a new level and you're about to rank up. Like as you see, I'm a uh, one star level six. When I go, when I'm about to get my uh, two star level one thing, so I'll have to go to him and talk to him and he'll give me rewards and things like that. Next, we're gonna run over here to the shop. And the shop has a few basic features. Here's the shop. So, first, you have your uh, gotcha spins. You have gotcha spins of three for one spins and 30 tokens for 10 spins. Um, no point in doing the 10 spins unless there's a campaign going on that but you need to, or it's like 50% off because. Literally, um, 10, 10 spins singularly cost, you know, 30 tokens, even if you're doing the single spins. To get 10, you're just gonna need 30. So that's that, and then you have the, P, uh, the DP store. I don't know why they didn't call it GP, or like most other gun games. This week, you buy your suits, and suits are pretty expensive, as you can tell. And I would recommend, personally, buying the lower cost suits first, and just clearing them out, so that way, when you do get them in gacha spins, you'll just get recycled tickets. This is your weapons, and it's divided in new, um, beam weaponry, ballistic weaponry, and melee weaponry. And let me go back to the melee suits, and I'll go back to it. And again, it's divided in new, um, assault types, general types, and support types. As you can see, the support types are obviously like gun tanks and gun cannons, and generals are always sort of like Zaku and you know, the Garmin Zabi Zaku. And then, you know, the assault types are stuff like the Goof and Gym Light Armor and Gym Distraction. So there you go. And then these are your weapon parts. Or not weapon parts, your suit parts. These are parts you can buy that will 
you know, add you different abilities to your suit or upgrade a certain factor of your suit. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them right now, but they're divided in a couple of categories. These are corrections. These are going to help you hit your moves more often, and I believe it increases the damage of each type of attack a little bit as well. Um, these are your basically your armor upgrades. Things like just straight up armor to shield armor to uh, ballistical armor. I don't know why I said ballistical. And these are, I believe on it, it was thruster and movement or auxiliary that these were. But these are usually parts that's going to help you go faster. Um, and these are parts that are up. No, I believe these are the auxiliaries because these will. Uh, this part that will like reduce your um, your, over your overheating for your boosters, and these will recover quicker. To parts that will help you move quicker, and so on and so forth. And these are reinforcements, and these will literally just add extra armor to a certain part of your mobile suit. For certain ones, yeah, that'll work fine. Um, the last part is clothing, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I would not buy a single piece of clothing from the shop. I bought one because I didn't know how expensive and how hard it was gonna be. To get DP, and that was a 5,000 suit, and I was like, wow, I didn't know it was that expensive. But as you can see, I wouldn't really buy any of them. You don't really spend a lot of time in the hub area, and a lot of people won't socialize. The next is the recycle ticket store. And the recycle ticket store is in the same categories. You have your suits, weapons, upgrades, and clothing. If you want to spend recycle tickets and clothing, go right on ahead. Some of them are pretty cheap. Like this is cheap. I wouldn't buy it though, because I wouldn't save my recycle tickets. But, once again, recycle tickets are pretty hard to come by because you need to get a duplicate suit or get them in a loot box. So, yeah. I mean, and, and they're pretty expensive. As you can see, 75 for a level 1 um, missile launcher. Um, that's not that's too good. <laughs> so next up, we're going to go to the matchmaker. And like I said, we're going to discuss how that works. And they added recently added a new feature. So you're going to go up on your screen, you have four options. Rating matches, which is just ranked matches. Um, you have your quick match, which is just quick matches. No, no rankings would be necessary to be done, but you can't earn um, any ranking in this, obviously because it's not a ranked match. But you won't lose rank either. Next, you have custom matches, and these are rooms that you can create for your friends to join and for you all to join in and play together. And then you have free practice. The first option is ground practice, and the second is a space map practice. And Whichever one you pick, you're obviously pick the ground one. The first one, you're gonna be on the ground practicing. Pick the second one, you're gonna be in space practicing. Pretty useful feature for you to test out mobile suits. You don't want to go into a match. This is how the rating match is. It's separating three bars, triangle. You can see what the details of each map and room that you're going to. As you see, it's 25 v 5 costs, extra details. Next, we're gonna do the quick match, and there's a new function up for quick match. As you can see, this is just going to give you tutorials, but like, oh, kill mobile suits, airstrikes, or not airstrikes, capturing bases, destroying the bases, and the different scorings of those. So if you don't want to look at that, it's not really necessary, I'm going to explain it to you. In a later video, I'm going to explain to you the best way to get points and what this game really focuses and relies on. But here's a new feature that they added just recently on September 28th with the update loot boxes. You see how it says triangle to give details, but then there's an extra button that says square. So what the square button is, is actually the feature that everyone has been requesting. The partying up system It's only available in quick matches. I don't know why it's unavailable in ranked matches, but it is available at the moment right now. So we're going to let this load up. As you can see, it's a little different than a normal match. So you have square. Square will launch you into a match right away, I believe. But if you press uh, your options button, what it's going to do is going to allow you to invite players, and I'm just going to send a random invite. Now, I'm not going to invite anybody, because that'd be kind of annoying, because none, none of my friends have a burger. I'm going to option two. Once again, I messed up my wording here, but you can invite people, and then once you have people in your room, you press square, and you set OK, and you're going to go into it, and it's going to take you into regular matchmaking with all your friends being on your side because you are squatted up with them. So you're composing your own team to go into quick matches. Hopefully they'll bring this to, the, to rating matches very soon, but I don't know if they will, but I sure hope so. I'm gonna exit out of this. 
and we're gonna go through the custom maps as well and explain how those systems work. So, um, here's how it works. Triangle is your refresh button that will refresh all the rooms that are available. Square is, allows you to search for rooms, like if I want to search for an ace match that's in space, that is, you know, only available to D plus players and B plus players, and then the cost is a... The cost of the room limit is a 200, and then it's just one on one. And I don't know what this does. I don't know. But you press that and it searches the room, and obviously there's no rooms available like that. That's cool. But if you want to make your own room, I backed out for some reason. You, you see how it highlights your name? That is actually how you make a room. So you click circle on that, and then you're able to make your own room. And there's not many rules you can set when it's going to be the same basic stuff. You can set the map you want to be on if you want to be an ace match in space with only uh, with everyone being able to join and the cost being all the way up to 700. Yes, there is 700 cost suits, there is none in the game yet. Um, to connection priority, like if you don't want people who are below three bars joining, you can set that, or if you want everyone joining, and you can set the number of mobile suits that join, like if you want 6v6 or 1v1, you can do that. And once again, I don't know what that is. I need to read it. Sorry, but so far as I can tell, it hasn't been necessary for everything, so there you go. And then you click it, and then you create the room, and it will create the room for you, and you can sit in the room and do whatever you want to do in the room, you know? If you want to sit here and dual 1v1s constantly, you can. You can invite your friends again, same, same functionality. You press triangle, you can invite players, so there you go. I mean, not triangle, you press start, you can invite players, so there you go. So that's how you invite people into raiding rooms as well, or not raiding rooms, uh, custom matches as well. And since we're done with this, we're gonna press X and back out, because once again, Japanese games are reversed, and now we're gonna talk about the suits. So once again, this is a very fast-paced video, sorry. Um, so the first option is gonna be your all your suits, and you can sort them however you want. I just keep it like this, which is suit cost, just, you can sort them on the level, um, this is you can sort them from rarity. No, you can sort them by faction type. No, it's not faction type. Well, then I believe this is rarity. You can sort them by type if you want to sort them by assaults and all those things. You can if you want to sort it like um, by space ground combat and yeah, you know, all those things you can. I believe that's what it is. I'm not 100% certain. But I'm gonna put it back to cost because cost is a lot easier. And you also have your tabs which you can select whatever you want to i'll see if i want to have the the first one's going to allow you to change its weaponry and its parts as you can see the parts are down here and you can choose on all your available parts and you can see how they're in the middle you see that there is a certain type of cost requirement for you to put on your suit so and they are literally translated part slots that really translate this top middle and lower parts um whatever that means i don't know just google translate but that's the requirements. I have four in top parts, so if something costs, let's say, one top part, I can put that in, and I'll have uh, three more slots available, but I cannot put anything extra in if it does not have the proper cost, uh, proper slots, enough slots. Uh, so once again, you can also change your weapons. I don't have any weapons for the Thunderbolt, but if you do have other weapons, you can equip these, and you also have different loadouts, which is square, change your loadouts from loadout one, Loadout 2, Loadout 3, and so on and so forth. The middle is your weapon swapping priorities. So if you have a suit that has a lot more weapons, then it has um, a holding square buttons. You can change that around. Let's say if I want my my shoulder mounted rocket barrage to be on triangle. Oh, you can also, if you press triangle, you will turn it off. But if you press that, you can also press circle, you can uh, select that I want it on the triangle button, so I can get it on the triangle button and circle again if I wanted that. And you can also, if you don't want the thing in your weapon rotation at all, you can simply tr press triangle and it won't be in your weapon rotation at all, which I don't know why you'd want to do that, unless there's an ability that you really don't like. And next up we're going to have the second option, which is the sorting function. If you want it to be a red tab, a green tab, or a yellow tab, you can. I sort mine a red for assault, green for general, and yellow for support types. That's how I sort it. Next is database and information about the mobile suit. If you have Gundam Translate, uh, not Gundam Translator, if you have a translator and you want to translate through that, or you read Japanese, that's where you go for information about your suit. 
the next slot is where you want to set it. If you want it to be a ground type mobile suit, you want to use it in ground combat, you press the first option. If you want it space combat, you press the second option. Um, if it is a space type mobile suit only, like the Thunderbolt here, you have to, you can only select it for space. You good? Good, you got it. Alright, next we're going to go back to the slowdown screen because there's something I almost forgot to mention, and that's the abilities. And abilities are, well, exactly like the sound abilities that certain mobile suits have and don't have. I don't know the Thunderbolt mobile suit's abilities because I haven't translated it, but I do know the decent amount of the Pixie's abilities. I know it has a stealth ability, um, force injection, which allows you to cancel your dashes out by going in a different direction and many other abilities. So, when you're learning about your mobile suit's abilities, you really gotta go through with a translator. If you're a en negative English speaker, you gotta go with a translator and translate it to English or whatever your native language is. So finally, the last things I wanna talk about is the stats that you see on the right side of your screen right there. What do they mean and what are they? So, what you wanna see is first thing you're gonna notice is the cost and it's big and it's in English and that is basically your suit cost. Then you have your mobile suit name at the very top and it's level in the far right corner. Then you see the two little squares there. That tells you what places that suit can be used on. This suit can only be used in ground combat, thus the ground tile is highlighted. And the little red uh, ribbon right there means that it is an assault type suit. Now we're gonna move on to the actual statistics that you see. First you have the HP. Uh, that's literally your health pool and literally your armor. So that's real simple. Next is your second stat is your bullet resistance. So that that is your resistance to ballistic weaponry such as bazookas and machine guns. And that will reduce the amount of damage you take from them. So the higher that is, the less damage you'll take from ballistic weaponry. Uh, the second the third stat you see on the screen is your beam resistance. And what that is is same as ballistic resistance. Uh, it will reduce the amount of damage you take from beam weaponry. And then after that, you have your uh, melee resistance, and that is how much damage you'll take from melee attacks. As you notice, the Gundam Pixie has a quite a high melee resistance of 25 plus, well, actually 22 if you if you take out the count of my plus three uh, melee resistance armor. So it is quite a tanky boy, but once again, it does seem to be fragile. Uh, but moving on to the point before I run off here, the next on the screen is your shooting effectiveness or your shooting correction as the direct translation is for Google Translate. From what this seems to mean, it means how good of a chance your mobile suit has to hit your target. So I'm assuming it's more of a more of an auto adjustment or an accuracy type deal. And it might adjust the amount of damage that you do with those types of weapons. I'm not certain. They don't really do a good job of explaining it. And then the stat after that, and that stat you're seeing is the sixth stat on your screen, is your melee effectiveness, or melee uh, correction, as it says for the direct translation. And once again, I believe it is mostly a accuracy thing. I know that sounds crazy, but the accuracy of the fighting correction of the pixie is 42. Whether that means it does more damage with melee weapons or not, I do not know. I... I really don't know. They don't do a good job explaining it. And the uh, seventh stat you're looking at on your screen, the 135, is your speed stat. And I believe this is movement speed and the like. And it might be have to do with boost speed. Well, once again, I'm not certain because they don't do a good job of explaining it. There's no detailed information on it. The eighth stat is thruster speed. Thrust, either thruster speed or thruster capacity, and it is the 40 on your screen. And that's what that stat is, is direct translation is literally just bluster. So next we're going to move on to the second part of your stats, and that's if you press L2, you can see it switches around on those stats and it shows up a second screen of stats. The first thing you see on there is exactly what you think. It is your respawn time, that is the 15 seconds, that means if you get destroyed in this mobile suit, it'll take 15 seconds to respawn. And the higher the cost, usually the higher the respawn time. Uh, the second tab on there, is literally sorting time, how many times you've sorted with that suit, and I believe that is just for ranked matches, it'll tell you how many ranked matches you've played with that suit, but I'm not certain on that. The next one is, is that that I don't know to be exact, and I, I really don't know exactly what it is, because 
it's a bit tricky because it lights up for some suits, like it lights up for certain space suits. But certain suits that can be used in both places don't have the tabs lit up either. Uh, let's say, for instance, I'm using the Zaku. It does not have any, the tabs are not lit up. But if I go to a ground type suit only, the tabs are lit up. But the Gun and Pixie doesn't have those tabs light up for it. And it, neither does it for the Agai or the Zagak, but it does for the ground gun. Then. So it's tricky because it seems like it's a boost that it gets for certain type of ground suits and space suits, but not all ground and space suits have it. And suits that are made for both ground and space don't seem to get this boost at all. So back to the gun and pixie as a reference. The next is your rarity of your part. This or rarity of your part, weapon, clothing item, or your suit. This is a three star rarity item. And the next is DP. And what that is translating to is basically saying what rank you need to be able to be to get it in the DP store. Not rank, but level, because lower rankings are slightly different. So this one is not available in the DP shop. This one is never not available anymore in the DP shop, and it was available in a special event. Uh, this one, to, to buy it, you have to be a level one uh, of the two star. Uh, the two small stars to get it and it basically if you have a friend who owns a suit and he's you know and he's much higher level than you and you want to know when you can buy that suit he can look up the suits and be like okay so this suit you have to be level five and the one star to buy or let's say for the Zaku five you have to be a two star level five to be able to buy this suit and if you want to buy the the Rick Dom level three you got to be a one star level one you know, and it, so it's like that, so it's more of a reference ability. So, um, so, I will be doing videos talking about each mobile suit. I won't be going through the levels of the mobile suits, but I will be going through the mobile suit type. And if the mobile suit does have a level 3 version with an extra ability, I will go over that because that obviously is a different ability that the mobile suit does not have. So, and next up for the mobile suits is the second tab, which is your painting tab. This is literally allows you to paint your mobile suits. And you press circle and you can go into set one, set two, and set three, which is three different loadouts. You have your suits. If you want to paint it, you press square, I mean not square, you press circle, and then you can change the color in the sliders, and you should be able to figure that out on your own. It's literally in English for you. Um, here's some functions for you. Pressing square will copy whatever color you want to. And pressing triangle will paste it. So if I want to paint it completely red, uh, um, guy, there you go. Just press square and copy and paste it all over. And if you want to copy and paste colors into presets, you can also do that once again. Press square and then you can press triangle and paste it to wherever you want to. So that's about it for mobile suits. So I guess I will quickly go over on the menu because why not so make this a four part video uh, first is your mobile suit second is your um, loadout for your pilot and none of these things really make any difference they're literally just clothing I wish they didn't but I wish I did make an effort like if I put on body armor maybe I'd have more bullet resistance but that's from what I've seen that's not even a thing second is your challenges these are gonna be your daily challenges your promotional challenges and your level up challenges. And for this week, uh, well not this week, this day, it was, uh, the first one is win, uh, participate in three battles, the second one was uh, fight in three space battles, and the last one was in one match and stored more than two mobile suits. So there you go. And this, once again, is this tutorial telling you how it works and how you get your awards, yada yada. Second one is promotional. Certain times they will have promotional suits or items you have to complete those challenges to get the promotional things. Like during the first, I guess, week or so, they had a promotional mission for the Zagak, and if you played it and got the requirements for it, you got the Zagak. And next up is your level up missions, and when you're leveling up, you have to complete a certain amount of requirements, and then you'll be allowed to go up to the next rank, and that's when you go to the guy with the clipboard, like we did earlier, and he'll level you up. The next up is your database, and this will give you information about yourself, how long you played for. I'm not going to go all in depth because 
it's it's a lot of in-depth things. And it'll, like this is showing you how many mobile suits you have, and so on and so forth. Um, the next tab is the store. If you are in a, using a Japanese account and you purchase yen, you'll be able to buy TP and not TP, uh, DP and tokens, and I believe recycle tickets. I'm not certain about that. I'm on my American account. Next up is your controls, and these will change your control settings. Uh, the first one, a little bit of control layout. Um, second one, I have no clue. Third one is sounds and stuff. Next, this one, I have no clue again. This one, I have no clue again. And this is the log out, and this will also save when you log out. And this option is to literally save all your progress. So that way, if you re redeem your rewards, if you just logged in, redeemed your rewards, you do get a save. Otherwise, your rewards will no longer um, be there when you come back. So make sure you always save before you log out. Anyways, guys, this is an absolute king of anime. Bring you the Gundam Battle Option 2 video. Thank God I didn't say Gundam Breaker 2 video. So anyways, as always, um, keep watching anime, keep loving anime, and, well, hail the power of the king.